Hello everyone, I'm Sufyan Sadawi, I'm from Morocco and I live in the desert. My hometown's name is Zagora. I teach at Bennett College in the United States of America, but every weekend I feel nostalgic. So I go back to my hometown, I go back to the desert, as you can see. So here are some things you need to know before going to Morocco and before visiting the desert. And today's episode, it's going to be more introductory. I'm going to be talking to you about things you need to know before visiting Morocco. So as you may know, or you may not know, that Morocco is one of the rare, of the rare countries that enjoys a multi-geography, multi-culture, and has many facets. So today, we're going to be talking about the desert and things you need to know to make your trip to the desert a wonderful trip and worthy of remembering. So it might seem to you that being in the desert, you will not find anyone there. But the real truth is that being in the desert, it has its beautiful moments and it has its positive sides. So the first, first of all, you would go to people, you would live with the people, you would know their conditions and you would experience the real situation of people who live in the desert. You would have the chance to meet the nomads. So and those are some people with whom you would never get bored or you would know many, many, many astonishing facts. They would hang out with you, they would show you around and most importantly, you would have the taste of the food, of the desert food and above all, you would have the desert tea or the Moroccan tea in the desert, surrounded by sand dunes, and that's the most important thing you can get. The second thing is that you want to hang out in the desert, but you don't know what's the best time to do that. I would say the best time to do that is at night. It's midnight, with the thousands of stars above all your heads, and with the music being played to you, with the drums, and with the jambies. So things you need to pack before coming to the desert is, I'm gonna split this part in two parts. In during the winter, it gets really, really, really cold, especially at night. So you wanna make sure you have a, a coat with you because the temperature is almost freezing. It gets to five degrees Celsius at night. During summer, the things you wanna make sure you have with you before visiting the desert are the following. So make sure you have a cap because it really gets so hot during the day. Sometimes it gets to 50 de Celsius degrees in the, in, in the desert. And also another thing that you want to make sure you have it all the time with you is water. So please make sure that you have water with you whenever you go because you will need definitely hot, uh, water because it's really hot during the day. Here are the things you need for clothes uh, while being in, in, in the desert. So make sure just you have light clothes with you. Make sure you have shorts, make sure you have t-shirts, and make sure, as I said, you have a cap with you because it really gets so hot during the day. But here is the good thing though. At night, the weather gets really fresh, so you would enjoy the best weather the, temp the desert can ever give to you. So my main objective here, while me being in the, in the United States of America, is I want you to visit Morocco. I want you to know, to get to know Moroccan culture better. And I want every human being I'm meeting throughout my stay in the United States to visit Morocco, to discover the culture of Morocco, and to dive into the real world of being Moroccan. I'm sure you are all excited by now. Do you wanna go to Morocco? Do you wanna discover the real Morocco? And do you wanna dive yourself in the culture of Morocco? Check my Instagram down here. And for, next, for our next video, we will talk about the Atlas Mountain. So get yourself ready and be prepared. Bring some shoes with you because we will go to the Atlas Mountains of Morocco.